What's up guys, we're here with another episode of Take a Peek. This week we're taking a peek at Super Planet Crash. A game made by Stefano Mestiari, I'm sure I slaughtered his name. Uh, so we'll just get right into what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you have these types of planetary bodies you can add in. Uh, 2 to 12, and you have to make this, the system last for 500 years. Depending on what you put in, it gets easier and harder at the same time. So, uh, you can see the habitable, habitable zone. You get a bonus for having it in the habitable zone. Habitable. Wow. Alright, so say I put a giant planet in there. And I put another giant planet in there. And I put one more giant planet in there. Over time, yeah, you can see how this... How the orbits are starting to get screwed up here. The gravity of these planets are interacting with each other and just completely distorting the orbits. If I were to speed this up, you might see some pretty weird things. Yeah, see, the tiny planet got chucked out of the system in a mere 25 years. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the most stable one I've found the easiest way just to get as many points as you want is typically just put a whole bunch of ice giants in the habitable zone and it should stay relatively stable this blue one's probably gonna get shot out fairly soon so Stefano uh, whatever his last name is cuz I, I can't speak that he does research on protoplanetary disks and the formation of star systems. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, this one actually got sent out first. And this game is a great example of how solar systems stabilize when you introduce new bodies. So when it's very equal like this, relatively equal, then the system will tend to survive. It'll do pretty well. Uh, but, let's face it, systems are not created like this. Fast forward, looks like this one's probably just going to go ahead and be stable. Whoop! <laughs> I messed up the whole thing by clicking in there. Uh, what's really cool about Super Planet Crash is from what I've seen, this is one of the most realistic planet simulations. Although Solar 2 does a really good job as well. I'll be covering Solar 2 at some point. But uh, this actually comes with three different settings. Three different templates you can play with. So this one just starts with one little Earth-sized planet going around the system, whatever. You also have uh, what we got from the Kepler-11 mission. Which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Six planet system. Uh, we have seven total bodies. That includes the star in the center. And then you can just fill, fill in whatever you want to fill in. So say there's a super earth out there now. Uh, you also have the Kepler-18. Uh, which is a much smaller system. You can see it's only 0.15 astronomical units. An astro astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Uh, so it's about 93 million miles, I believe. I think that's what it is. Uh, so this is only 0.15 AUs, and there's three planets in there. That's why it's going so fast, because it's zoomed way in. And this is 1 AU, but you're looking at this weird orbit planet to screw everything up. You know, how are you going to get a super Earth to reliably go around? You know, one that's going around this fast, one's going around that fast. It'd be a miracle if they didn't hit at some point. They overlap in two places. It, you would think that eventually they'd hit. question is, will they? They get close. But you can see the orbit's already being thrown off because of the gravity of this larger one. The orbit's getting slightly bigger. 
slightly more thrown off. And yep, there we go. This one had a nearby pass, and it threw this one straight out of the solar system. Um, that's what's interesting about this game. When you get away from the base game, I'll just go ahead and refresh and go to the base game here. Uh, when you get away from this, the whole thing gets far more complicated and far more complex. Uh, if you're interested in solar systems, exoplanets, and the sort, I do recommend going and checking out Stefano's work. Jeez. How the heck do you get that? I'm sure there's some way to get dwarf stars to work. But <laughs> dwarf stars are pretty hard to get to work in this. Because you can see it screws with the star in the center. And it screws with that little thing. Whoop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. Uh, so you can get some pretty weird stuff in here. If I can... And just the way the dwarf stars interact with each other. Makes for a really weird system. Whoop. <laughs> they crashed. Okay, that crashed against the barrier. Apparently they like spun in a circle really fast and shot out in two different directions. Um, but yeah, this game is extremely simple. Really easy to pick up. It's just a point and click. You know, if I want to place a brown dwarf, I click on brown dwarf. There you go. There's a brown dwarf in the system. <laughs> and there's a brown dwarf out of the system. So, uh, the entire point is to see how high of a high score you can get. And obviously you can see how many planets... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, this is his. So this is looking at a replay of someone who got a really high score. Excuse me. And that's literally all they had was this one. Just one dwarf star and you get a huge amount of points. And then you fast forward it and nothing of interest really happens. Well, the orbit of this changes, interestingly enough. Uh, if you want to know why, I'm sure uh, Stefano has some stuff done on it. Now, I do want to point out for this episode, no, Stefano did not contact me, no, I'm not being paid for this, I'm legitimately, like, he's an astronomer, a professor, you go check out his work if you like astronomy and science and stuff, because he, he took the time to make a, a fairly realistic simulation of planetary systems. So, to check out uh, Super Planet Crash, it'll be down below. Yeah, uh, you can see everything up in here. Two million systems were created. A lot more than two million systems have been created. Uh, credits down here to all the people that worked on the project. There's, uh, But yeah. So, it'll be down below. It'll be SPC. It's pretty easy. Uh, the URL is pretty easy. So, anyways, guys, that was this week's week's take a peek episode of Super Planet Crash. I think it's a pretty cool game. I got it from I heard about it from Vsauce, and I've been showing you guys a lot of browser games recently. But that's because there's a lot of cool stuff out there on browsers that really does need to be seen. We did that, more or less. Whoop, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. So see how high of a score you can get. That's 10 million. Uh, the high scores are in the... Well... If you can get 800 million, I'm sure that would be very impressive. Uh, 500 million seems hard enough to get. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. 
Uh, this was Super Planet Crash. Real short episode today.